Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the club. It's bell time. My name's Drew Kazoo, joined at this time by Mark Green, and we got fatal four-way action on deck for us. We'd like to welcome back to the commentary table our own Commissioner Smooth. Welcome back, Commish. As we see the entrance now of the spectacular JC. I say all the time, in appearance, this guy reminds me of a guy I see on Monday nights a lot. I don't know if that rings a bell for you guys. Just a little bit, just a little bit. But I'm sure he would love to get to that point in his career. He's well on the way, that's for sure. This will be an interesting contest for him because one of the men in this match is his former longtime tag team partner. A lot of history between those two guys, a five-star spectacular, but they are a team no more. Broke up here right at Fenway Park last yes, year. Yes, they did. Following their own career paths now, and here they are across from each other in fatal four-way action. That's no love the devil. That is Jace right there, the former tag team partner we were just referring to, formerly the Spectac Five Star Spectacle. And it is interesting that they are the first two men out. And look at Spectacular JC wants nothing to do with them. Spectacular JC has been mean mugging him ever since he came out the back. But totally no, look at him, he's not, he's not even really paying attention to him. Nope. Like we said before, not an ounce of love lost between no, these two. All. Former tag team partners, and you gotta wonder if they, the issues between these two will be a casualty for the other two guys in this match. And here is a guy I'm very, very high on, a young performer, Marcos, accompanied by Honest Abe, and in a super twist of irony, Honest Abe, who used to manage the five-star spectacle. A lot of paths crossing here at Bell Time Club at Fenway Park. Only adds to the chemistry of the match, and those who benefit are uh, the, you know, the Bell Time Club faithful. Marvelous Marcos is going to be a star. You can just look at him. It oozes out of every pore of his body. He carries himself like a star. And Absolutely. Like Carry yourself. Guy's jacked, and he's built like a tank, but here we see all pro. Brandino Davis, he's all pro all the time. I'll tell you what, Brandino from day one has had that charisma, that innate X factor. When he walks through a curtain, people care about him. And that's the thing you can't teach. As is made evident right here. Has yet to totally put it together in the ring but there are pieces and moments where you see it. It's there. It's just a matter of him finding it. I've seen him wrestle a couple times and he was on top. And then once we talked, like we talked about a couple of matches ago, play Kate to the fan, we just gotta get the business done. But Big Stick, I agree with everything you just said. He has a great future in this business. Last time we saw him in Bell Time Club action, he was in that gauntlet match with Brian Malonis and almost walked away with the W, but an impressive showing. But look at, I mean, Jason and JC continue to just go at each other. Wow. A less than warm reception for Five Star Jace here at Fenway Park. Like I said, the former manager of the Five Star Spectacle, now with Marvelous Marcos. Oh, apparently he's magnificent tonight. He's both. He is spectacular, and he's also dressed for success, apparently. They love JC here in uh, El Mundo, I'll tell you that much. Man, Massachusetts, he 
Brandino's lost some weight, got himself in better shape, looking good. I'll be curious to see how that affects his in-ring performance. Should be a good one here, folks. Just waiting for the bell. There we go. As if on cue, we are officially underway. Oh, little shoving contest there. Oh, you knew it was going to break down between Jace and JC pretty quickly. Marcos and Brandino have paired off now. Oh! Double scoop. It's too surprisingly working in unison right now. Absolutely, who would have thought that? And Brandino, the straps have come down already. I tell you, I'm not sure how you pick a winner in this one because I think all four of these guys are pretty equally matched. I would say just got Magnificent Marcos with the size advantage but uh, and maybe in the strength department, but other than that, these guys pretty evenly matched. Yeah, I'll be curious to see how this plays out as the match goes on, particularly between the former tag. Oh, wow! Brandino! He is fired up here tonight. Big man with the big moves. Good thing he trimmed down a few months ago. He might not have been able to pull that off. Absolutely. Tell you, I got to give kudos to you, Commissioner Smooth, for signing this match. Bell Time Club and this club, as I said before, and I'll say it again, it's a club where you can expect to get your bell rung at any time. Only the finest and newest oh! are going to be in Bell Time Club. I am pleased with how the entire afternoon has gone. Absolutely, as we see the spectacular JC now just took flight. Living up to his name, that was spectacular. And he throws JC, and that's, what he, that's the guy he wants. I'm we not sure it. he cares about anyone else in this match. He wants to get a piece of five-star Jace. Well, I was just going to say, I wonder if that will actually work to his detriment because if he's focused too much on Jace, he may forget about the other two, and that could uh, prove to be, uh, you know, not work in his favor. Very, very true. But I'm sure he's feeling good right now. Big boot by JC. I'll tell you what, that move looks familiar too. Pretty sure I've seen that before. <laughs> Oh, big chop. Off the, Chase health onto the ropes and lifts that boot right in the face of JC. Chase off the ropes but gets caught. Look at the power of spectacular JC. And an earth shattering fall away slam right there. And magnificent Marcos. Circling the ring now. And Jace gets his foot on the ropes to stop the count. Again, remind you, this is a one fall match. JC hard to the outside. And now Brandino Davis struggling to get to his feet. Jace and JC brawling all over the floor now. Well, Brandino and Marcos going at it at the center of the ring. Wow. On the other side now, it picks him up. Big spine buster. Well done by Marcos. That could be it. One, two, like I said, Marcos just oozes superstar from his pores. This kid has it all. He's put together. Great look. Great performance in the ring. Just needs that little extra something. I don't know if that's on a stave or not, but we'll see. Charges into the corner, Brandino out of the way, picks him up. Beautiful re release, belly to belly. Into the cover, two. Oh. I don't know if you saw on the outside there, five star Jace just cut spectacular JC down right on the apron. I saw that. Action all over the place here. And Jace with that knee strike right to the face of Brandino Davis. All right, somebody just finally realized that there was two other people in this match. <laughs> <laughs> But you figure, I ain't hating. They waited a year to get the, to get their hands on each other. Yeah, absolutely. And now Jace finds himself in the wrong place. JC with that uppercut. Jace in a bad way right now. Let's get this going. Who it? Setting up for superplex, it looks like. What are you looking for? Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Here we go. Brandino in two. We're going to see a big train wreck. Here it comes. Big 
Superplex. I thought that ring was going to buckle. About how many pounds do you think that was? Combined. Too much. <laughs> Marcos <laughs> looks like the one in the best shape right now at the moment. He's up to a knee. First to his feet. Brandino right behind him. Big right hand. Now these guys trading right hands in the middle of the ring. Big heavy shots by these two guys. Oh, Brandino caught him. Big Uranagi. Absolutely. All the way down to the canvas. One, two. Oh, I think the ref held up a little bit there. I'm going to have to check the footage about that. I just want to make sure he's not in anybody's pockets. I don't know. It looked a little, a little questionable. Whoa. Oh. That was downright violent. Brandino looks out. His eyes are glassy. Wait, there's on a stave up on the apron. Oh, Whoa. most a miscue. Oh! oh. Hey. JC sends Chase right on the stage, hooks him up. Big choke slam! Into the cover! What? One, two, three, and it. What a victory for Spectacular JC. And I believe one year later, the story of the five star spectacle has now been put to bed. Dress for success came in town, handled his business. One, two, three, hand raise. What a difference a year makes, and what a fatal four-way match we just saw. Bell Time Club faithful here treated to an amazing contest there. It's spectacular job, JC Brandino soaking Davis it in. Behind spectacular JC. What's he gonna do here? What do we got? All right. Match is over. Huh? Oh, Brandino, Brandino Davis with the show of sportsmanship. Extends the hand. <laughs> and we got the hand. Like shake. seeing that kind of thing. The Bell Time Club founded on good sportsmanship. There you see it right there. There's a lot to be said for good sportsmanship, so that was cool. But you all know my background. I would have loved for one to slap the taste of the, slap the taste <laughs> about the other one and have an impromptu match. If you want to impress Commissioner Smooth and move on up that ladder, they had that opportunity. The commission is going to have to go ahead and sign that match for us, but we're going to tune out. My name's Drew Kazoo for Commissioner Smooth and Mark Green. Thank you, everybody watching at home on YouTube. We'll see you next time.